good morning children today we'll be discussing the exercises of our uh, lesson the picture plant and exercises which are coming under comprehension and we'll be discussing exercise b d and e so let's look at the first one complete the description of the picture plant given below complete the description of the picture plant given below and look at the paragraph children the pitcher's dash is always open and a lid is placed over the mouth in a dash position the dash of the lid and the mouth of the pitcher are brightly colored like dash to attract insects below the mouth of the pitcher are downward pointing dash the sides of the pitcher below the hooks are dash and dash at the dash of the picture is some quantity of dash so we can find the answers uh, uh, if we have read the textbook so it's very easy uh, so let's discuss it so look at the paragraph children the pictures dash is always open with the pictures mouth is always open the pictures mouth is always open and a lid is placed over the mouth in an open position and a lid is placed over the mouth in an open position okay the next sentence the dash of the lid and the mouth uh, of the picture are brightly colored the underside of the lid the underside of the lid and the mouth of the picture are brightly colored like dash to attract insects like flowers to attract insects the underside of the lid and the mouth of the picture are brightly colored like flowers to attract insects and the next sentence below the mouth of the pitcher are downward pointing dash below the mouth of the pitcher are downward pointing hooks so there are a downward pointing hooks below the mouth of the pitcher and the next sentence the sides of the pitcher below the hooks are dash and dash they are smooth and slippery the sides of the pitcher below the hooks are smooth and slippery and the last sentence at the dash of the dash sorry at the dash of the picture is some quantity of dash at the bottom of the picture is some quantity of water at the bottom of the picture is some quantity of water so this is the paragraph let's check the answers once again the pictures mouth is always open and a lid is placed over the mouth in an open position the underside of the lid and the mouth of the picture are brightly colored like flowers to attract insects below the mouth of the picture are downward pointing hooks the sides of the picture below the hooks are smooth and slippery at the bottom of the picture is some quantity of water so this is exercise b and now let's go to exercise d exercise d is just for discussion actually uh, there's no need to write the answers you can just uh, discuss uh, so there are three questions and these three questions have sub questions too so let's look at the first one yeah exercise d read the lines and answer the questions and the first question is a sentence from the lesson the plant is a creeping or climbing shrub which runs along the ground or climbs up other shrubs and short trees so this is a sentence once again i'll read it the plant is a creeping or climbing shrub which runs along the ground or climbs up other shrubs and short trees and the first question we have is which plant is referred to here the pitcher plant is referred to here 
the pitcher plant is referred to here next question what type of plant is it what type of plant is it the pitcher plant is a carnivorous plant and it feeds on insects the pitcher plant is a carnivorous plant that means it feeds on uh, meat okay so uh, the pitcher plant is a carnivorous plant and it feeds on insects let's go to the next question do you think this plant is a parasite give reasons so uh, the meaning of the word parasite is that uh, there are some plants uh, which uh, would live on other plants and they just take all the nutrients okay uh, of that of the main plant and this uh, the parasite might, might can be a climber or a shrub so it uh, it just um, circles around the main plant that is it can be a tree or anything and it absorbs all the uh, nutrients all the good things which the main plant has so the question is do you think the pitcher plant is a parasite do you think what do you think the pitcher plant is a parasite no it is not a parasite but it is a carnivorous plant pitcher plant is not a parasite that is it does not live uh, on another plant and get its food from it it does not do that but it's a carnivorous plant which feeds on insects so this is the first one now let's go to the second one not only do these strange leaves look like jugs but they are also used as jugs not only do these strange leaves look like jugs but they are also used as jugs so the first question we have is why are the leaves strange why are the leaves strange usually when we look at the leaves of other plants we know the shape right the, the shape of the leaf but this plant has a strange leaf because the end of the i mean the leaf is uh, it's like a it's in a shape of a jug or a pitcher and these leaves are modified it the shape of the leaf itself is a jug so that's why the leaves of the pitcher plant are little strange now let's go to the next one how are these leaves used as jugs how are these leaves used as jugs actually these leaves that is these jugs has water in it okay and what happens is if a traveler he is so thirsty and he is not finding any water in that place if he finds a pitcher plant he can be sure that there might be at least some water so that he can quench his thirst so these uh, pitcher plants leaves can be uh, used as a jug also because it has water in it so now let's look at the next question what is the purpose of these jugs actually what is the purpose of these strange leaves or these jugs the purpose is to trap the insects okay, what these uh, jugs do is they trap the insects so that they can these plants can grow so that is the purpose of these jugs now let's go to the third one thirsty travelers can quench their thirst from these natural jugs when water is not found anywhere thirsty travelers can quench their thirst from these natural jugs when water is not found anywhere why do you think the travelers are thirsty so uh, there might be places where we cannot find water okay there might be places where we cannot find water so if uh, if the travelers have no water then in that place then they can uh, if they find the pitcher plant they can uh, drink water since they have been traveling from long distances if they don't find water around them then they can if they see a pitcher plant they can go for it okay that is the answer for this question next one where do you think they might find these plants where do you think they might find these 
plants um, we can find uh, uh, these plants actually they these plants uh, sorry these plants are uh, creepers or uh, climbers that is they can find these plants uh, as uh, what uh, on the ground they live on the ground and they uh, live uh, on a plant too that is they can creep they they live as creepers and also as climbers so uh, it's we just we just have have to know how uh, just how to find a picture plant okay that's how uh, we can find this okay either they can be sh uh, creepers or climbers so now let's go to the next question what is the term natural applied to these drugs what is the opposite of natural so uh, this plant we find in nature yes or no what all things we find in nature are natural yes trees are natural rivers are natural mountains these are all these things are, are, are all part of nature so the pitcher plant is also a part of nature that is no uh, no man has made the drugs yes or no it is it just happened so it's a part of the nature so uh, they are naturally formed and so if we we'll, uh, just look at the opposite of natural what is the opposite of natural it's artificial okay for example we have a uh, plastic mugs right plastic jugs they are artificial things whereas pitcher plant the jugs uh, of the leaves of the pitcher plant which has the shape of the jug is natural whereas the plastic thing can be seen as artificial so there is the difference between natural and artificial i hope you understood these questions and uh, there is no need to write we are just discussing so that we can uh, get more idea of the lesson okay now let's go to the next section think and answer and we have two questions here what do you think of the pitcher plant what do you think of the pitcher plant we must uh, feel that it's very fascinating right fascinating and interesting for the plant for the insects it might be dangerous yes or no because they feed on insects for insects they are very dangerous but for us it can be very interesting very fascinating thing that how can plant the leaves of the plants have these kinds of shapes and how it feeds on it and like how we eat and how our body uh, dissolves the food and how we get the energy to live the same way this pitcher plant also has has the same process so we can see the pitcher plant is very fascinating very interesting very strange unusual so this is what we can think of the pitcher plant we have one more question do you think nature is intelligent give reasons for your answer obviously nature is very intelligent because uh, however we try to uh, just uh, um, uh, just to destroy it or just to just stop everything but it comes out yes or no so nature and the main thing is we must never Uh, destroy the things of the nature yes or no because they have been a big help to us we f we live because of the things we find in nature so obviously nature is very intelligent and the best example is the pitcher plant itself yes or no that is a thirsty man can quench his thirst thirst by just having the water in the pitcher plant it's very fascinating right so nature uh it itself is very intelligent in thousands and thousands of ways so this is the answer uh, for this questions and sorry for this question and uh, mm, tomorrow we'll be dealing with the la the section language in use and uh, um, please complete what was given and ex exercise d and e are just for discussion just listen to the video and it's just to understand it's just to get the better idea of the lesson and this is for today and see you and bye